Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this easy puff stitch bag. So for my bag I used a 5mm crochet hook and in this video I am using US terms. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet so videos. So to begin your bag you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, you want to take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. So once knot. you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And for our foundation chain, we're going to chain 26. So chain 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 26. So I have just finished making my foundation chain of 26. And we are now ready to move on to round one of our purse or so our bag. So to begin bag. round one, we're going to work two half double crochets into the third chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook, here is the second and here is the third. And into this chain we're going to do two half double crochets. So to do a half double crochet you want to yarn over and go into this chain, the third chain from the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we have one half double crochet into that chain. So we're going to yarn over and go back down into the exact same chain again and work a second half double crochet. So there we have two half double crochets both into that chain and we're now going to do one half double crochet into each and every chain along. So one half double crochet into each chain until you get to the second to last chain from the end. So here is the very last chain at the end and we're not going to go into this one, we're going to go into the one before that and work one half double crochet into each chain. So yarn over and go into the next chain and work one half double crochet. Then work one into the next chain as well. One half double crochet, one half double crochet into the next one along and keep doing this until you get to the very last chain so I have just finished working that all the way along and you can see that I have stopped right before this very last chain here. So you did one half double crochet into each chain until you get to the very last one. And now into this last chain, we're going to do six half double crochets all into this chain. So six half double crochets. So yarn over and go into the last chain and do one half double crochet. Then go back into the same chain and do a second one. Then a third and do this until you have so like six. that. So there I have my six half double crochets into that chain. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do one half double crochet into each of the next 22 stitches up along the opposite side of our foundation chain. So for our bag so far, we did our slip knot, then we did our foundation chain up, then we have worked half double crochets down, and then when we did the six half double crochets all into this stitch at the end, we actually turned the corner and now we're going to begin working up along the opposite side of our foundation chain. And what we're going to do is we're going to do one half double crochet into each of the next 22 stitches. So yarn over 
and go into this first stitch here along the opposite side of the chain and work one half double crochet then work one into the next chain and you can see we're going into the opposite side of our chains so there's two and then work a third one and do this until you have 22 So I have just finished doing those 22 half double crochets and you should find that once you have done that you have one last chain here and into this last chain we're going to do three half double crochets. So this last chain here is actually the third chain from the hook that we worked in at the very beginning. So we worked two half double crochets both into this chain at the very beginning of the round. So you can see here we have our two half double crochets and then we also have the chain two that we skipped when we worked into the third chain from the hook. So that is the first and second chain that we skipped and those two chains count as one half double crochet. So once we work our three half double crochets into this space, we will have six half double crochets at this end, just like we have down here. So yarn over and go into the chain and work one and then two and finally three. And then to finish off this round, we're going to work a slip stitch into the top of the chain two. So the chain two that we skipped. So here is the top of the chain two. And if you're not sure which stitch to go into, then you can count back 56 stitches. So count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve all the way up to 56 and you will see that this stitch will be your 56th one so the first stitch of the round and that is the stitch that you need to work your slip stitch into so insert your hook into that stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook so work a slip stitch and once you have done that, we have finished round one and we're ready to move on to round two. So we are two. now on to round two of our bag. And to begin this round, you want to chain one. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now in round two, we're going to start working our puff stitches all the way around. And to do our puff stitches, we're going to use a stitch called four double crochets together. So when we do four double crochets together, we're doing four double crochets all into the same stitch, but we're not going to complete any of them. And then we're going to complete all four of them together at the same time. So it's effectively turning four stitches into one. And that is how we're going to create our little puff. So what you want to do is we're going to go down into this very first stitch here that our chain one comes out of and we're going to work our first set of four double crochets together. So yarn over and go down into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. So just as you would with a normal double crochet but usually to finish the double crochet, we would yarn over and pull through these two loops here, but we're not going to do that. We're going to move on to the next one. So we're going to leave this double crochet incomplete and yarn over, go back down into the same stitch again. You're going down into the exact same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. So there we have a second incomplete double crochet into the same stitch, but we're not going to complete this one either. We're going to move on to the third one. 
So yarn over, go into the same stitch again, pull up a loop and pull through two loops. So there we have three incomplete double crochets. And now we're going to do a fourth and final one. So yarn over, get into the same stitch, pull up a loop and pull through two loops. So there we have four incomplete double crochets. You can see one, two, three, four. And we're going to yarn over and pull through every single loop on our hook to complete the stitch. And there you can see we have created our little puff stitch. So we have done four double crochets together. So you now want to chain one and then skip the next stitch. So we have done four double crochets together, chain one and then skip the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that again and again and again all the way around for round two. We're going to do four double crochets together, chain one, skip the next stitch, four double crochets together, chain one, skip the next stitch, again and again and again. So we have chained one, we're going to skip the next stitch here, and into the next stitch we're going to do four double crochets together, just as we did here. So yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, and pull through two loops. So there we have one incomplete double crochet and we need to do three more into the same stitch. So go into the same stitch again and do a second incomplete double crochet. Then do a third one and then a fourth. So there we have one, two, three and four incomplete double crochets and you should have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and pull through all five. So there we have four double crochets together and we're now going to chain one and skip the next stitch and then we're going to repeat that again. Do four double crochets together into the next stitch. So just as we have done before. Then chain one and skip the next stitch. Then do four double crochets together into the next stitch. chain one and skip the next stitch and repeat that all the way around for round two. So I am two. just coming to the end of round two and I've worked my last set of four double crochets together. So now I'm going to chain one and skip this very last stitch here. So skip this last stitch and then to finish off the round we're going to go into the first set of four double crochets together here and work a slip stitch. So here is the four double crochets together and you want to go into this stitch and make sure that you're not going into the little chain one that you're going into the four double crochets together and you should be able to tell what, which stitch this is as it will be a little bit longer. So go into this stitch, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch and there we have round two completed and we're ready to move on to round so three. So we're now on to round three. And to begin this round, we're going to go straight into this first chain one space here. So skip this set and go straight into the first chain one space and work a slip stitch. So we have just finished off on a slip stitch and now we're going to go straight into the first chain one space and work another slip stitch like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work four double crochets together into this space. So yarn over and go into the space and work four double crochets together into this chain space from last round. 
So this is just the same as we did before. Four double crochets together, but it's all into this space. So like that, there we have four double crochets together. And now you want to chain one and skip this stitch here. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for round three. Into every single chain one space, we're going to do four double crochets together. Then we're going to chain one and skip this stitch. So skip the set from last round. So do four double crochets together, chain one, four double crochets together, chain one, four double crochets together, chain one, all the way around. So I'm going to go into the next chain space here and do four double crochets together. So just as we did, do four double crochets together, like that. Then chain one, skip this stitch and go straight to the next chain space and do the same thing again. Four double crochets together. Like that, then chain one and move straight on to the next space. And you want to do that all the way around for round three. So I'm just coming to the end of round three. So to finish off this round, you want to go into the very last chain space here and work your last set of four double crochets together. So work the last set of four double crochets together like this. And then chain one. And then we're going to finish off the round by working a slip stitch into the very first set that we worked. So here is our first set of four double crochets together and you want to go into this stitch and work a slip stitch. So there we have completed round three and we are now moving on to the next so round. So we now on to round four of our purse or our bag and for the next nine rounds, so for rounds of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, so nine rounds, you simply want to repeat round three. So we're going to do nine repeats of round three. So if you remember, for round three, we start off by working a slip stitch into the first chain space here, and then we do four double crochets together and chain one all the way around. So we do four double crochets together, chain one, four double crochets together, chain one, all the way around for round three. And then you want to finish off by doing a slip stitch into the first set of four double crochets together that we worked. So there we will have our first repeat and you want to do that nine times. So nine repeats. And once you have done those nine repeats, this is what you will have. And you will see we will have the main section of our purse completed with our puff stitches all the way up. So you want to do nine repeats of round three. So you can go back in the video and re-watch that round, or I will quickly show you how to do it again now. So to start each round, you want to go into the first chain space here and work a slip stitch. So go into the very first chain one space and work a slip stitch. And then 
Go down into the first space and do your first set of four double crochets like together. That. So four double crochets together and now chain one and then go to the next chain space and do the same thing again. Four double crochets together and then when you get to the very end of this round work a slip stitch into the first set that you worked and then begin your next repetition. So continue that until you have nine repetitions of that round of round three. So you want nine more repetitions. So I have finished working those rounds and this is what you should have. So you can see we have round one, two and three and then we have our nine repeats of round three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And this is what you should have. And we are now going to move on to making the top section of our bag. So to begin this, so to begin round one of the top section, you want to start off by chaining one. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. And we are now going to do one half double crochet into every single stitch around. So you want to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here, pull up a loop and pull through all three loops on your hook. So do one half double crochet and then we're going to move on to the chain space and do one half double crochet into this space here and then do one half double crochet into the next stitch. Then do one half double crochet into the next chain space. So we're doing um, one into each stitch, then the space, then the stitch, then the space. So we're just doing one half double crochet into each stitch around for so this I'm round. So I'm just coming to the end of that round. So we are working one half double crochet into each stitch around. So I'm going to go into this very last space here and work my final half double crochet. So there we have almost finished this round and we're going to finish off by working a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we worked. So here, so go into the first stitch and work a slip stitch. And now we're ready to move on to round two of the top of so our bag. So we are now on to round two and to begin this round, chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we are now going to start off by working one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So we're going to do six half double crochets to start. So go down into the first stitch and do one half double crochet. Then do one into the second one along. One into the third. One into the fourth. There is a fifth and finally a sixth. So we have six half double crochets and we are now going to work a stitch called two half double crochets together. So when we do two half double crochets together, we are doing two half double crochets, one into each stitch, but we are not going to complete either of them and then we're going to complete them both together at the same time. So we are turning two stitches into one. So we have done six half double crochets and now we are going to do one set of two half double crochets together. So you want to yarn over and go into the next stitch and pull up a loop as you would with a normal half double crochet but usually we would yarn over and pull through these three loops here but we're not going to do that we're going to move on to our next one so yarn over and go into the next stitch so the next stitch along and pull up a loop so there we have two incomplete half double crochets and you should have five loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and pull through all five loops to complete the stitch. And there we have done two half double crochets together and turned two stitches into one. So we have done six half double crochets, two half double crochets together 
And for the rest of this round, we're just going to repeat that again and again and again. So we're going to do six half double crochets, one into each stitch, then two half double crochets together, then six half double crochets, two half double crochets together, again and again and again. So start off by doing your next repetition. So do six half double crochets, one into each so stitch. So like that, so there I have my six half double crochets. And now we're going to work our next set of two half double crochets together. So yarn over and go into the next stitch and pull up a loop, but do not complete this half double crochet. Move on to the next one and yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. So there we have done two half double crochets together and we're going to repeat that all the way around. So I have just finished working that all the way around for this round and to finish off you want to go into the very first half double crochet that you worked and work a slip stitch. So you should finish off by doing a final set of two half double crochets together and then work a slip stitch. And now we're ready to move on to round three of the top of our bag or so our to begin purse. round three, you want to start off by chaining one. And now this round is really similar to last round, but instead of doing six half double crochets, two half double crochets together, in this round we're going to do five half double crochets, two half double crochets together all the way around. So we're going to do five half double crochets, one into each stitch, then two half double crochets together, then five half double crochets, two half double crochets together, five half double crochets, two half double crochets together, all the way around. So go down into the very first stitch and do one half double crochet then do one into the second one along and the third and the fourth and finally the fifth. So you want one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And now we're going to do our first set of two half double crochets together. So we're doing this just like we did last round do two half double crochets together like that. And now we're going to repeat that again. Do five half double crochets, one into each stitch. like that. And now do two half double crochets together. So just as we did before. Okay, so now we are going to repeat that again and again and again for this round. Five half double crochets, two half double crochets together. So just continue to repeat this and this is going to decrease the top of our bag to make it go in a little bit at the top. So keep repeating this for round so three. I have just finished working that all the way around and I have worked my final set of two half double crochets together. So now to finish off the round you want to work a slip stitch into the very first half double crochet that you worked. And always make sure that you're going into the first half double crochet and not the chain one. So this is what we have so far and now we are on to the very last round of our So we are bag. now on to the final round and to begin this round you want to chain one and now we're going to do one half double crochet into each and every stitch around. So the final round of the bag is very simple. You just need to do one half double crochet into each and every stitch. So go into the very first stitch and do a half double crochet. And then go into the next stitch and do one half double crochet into this one as well and one into the next stitch and continue to do this all the way around. 
one half double crochet into every single stitch around for the last round okay, of the so i have just finished doing that all the way around for this round and then to finish off you want to go into the first stitch of the round so the first half double crochet and work a slip stitch and there we have finished our bag so you can now pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, making sure that you leave a nice long tail to weave into the inside of your bag securely. So you must make sure that you weave all of your ends in nice and secure. So there we have finished our bag and you can see that by doing the rounds with two half double crochets together, we decrease around the top so that the bag kind of goes like this. So I didn't want the bag to have an opening that was too big, so I did those two decrease rounds and I think it makes it look really nice. So there we have finished the main part of our bag. And now the very last step that you need to do is to add a strap. So you can add whatever strap you like. You can make it as wide as you want or as long as you like it. So here, this is the strap that I'm going to add. So what I did to make this strap was I did a slip knot and then I chained four and then I did one half double crochet into the second chain from the hook and then into each of the next two stitches. So my rounds are three half double crochets wide and then I just repeated rounds of chain one and turn and do one half double crochet into each of those three stitches. So my strap is three stitches wide and then this is how long it is. I would say that this is about 45 to 60 centimeters long. And then I'm going to attach my strap on either side. And when you do this, it's important to make sure that you put them in the exact same places on the opposite side of your bag so that you attach it on the exact opposite sides. And a good way to make sure that you're doing that is to count the stitches in between the straps and make sure that it is the same number on either side. So once you have attached your strap, you have finished your so bag. So I have finished working my bag and I have weaved all of my ends into the inside. And I then went ahead and attached a little button here and I have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and I also have a Twitter account if you want to share with me photos of your crochet work. So I will have a link to my Twitter in the description box below this video and thanks again for watching. Bye!